Hey, what's up you HCMC Army and Moneymakers? Welcome back to the channel. HCMC stockholders, many of you asked me what is going on with HCMC, what happened to the appeal, and what is latest and greatest about HCMC. So here I am sharing very latest, very interesting, very juicy information about HCMC. In regards to the appeal, I wanted to tell you up front that we already knew and talked in my previous video that there is not much that can get out of the appeal process. Basically, the lawsuit was dismissed by the federal judge and the PTAB application did not really work out either. So as a result, HCMC will not be getting any fruitful uh, financial gains out of the infringement lawsuit, patent infringement lawsuit that HCMC filed against uh, against the big corporation for the IQOS product, Philip Morris. Now, you already know that there is not much we can do out of this uh, lawsuit, but there is a ton of merits in HCMC and their business. I have a very juicy, very latest and greatest information to share with you that HCMC Healthier Choices Management Corp announces the confidential submission of registration statement for its spin-off of its natural food and grocery and wellness businesses. And HCMC will soon be be uh, known as HCWC. So wellness, uh, W stands for wellness business that they have. So in this particular video, I'll walk you through. You really want to know if you still own HCMC stock. So if you're a shareholder, so you really want to know. If you really are interested in knowing the future about HCMC as a company, you should know as well because for the most part, the stock is uh, hovering between one and two levels on a daily basis. Take a look right here, 0 0.0001 and 0 0.0002 for last five days, for last one month, for last six months, all in all, HCMC is hovering between one and two levels. So there's not much happening. Now, it is not just HCMC, the market is on the sideways. If you remember, NASDAQ was down 1.69% on the last trading session, which was on Friday. Dow Jones was down 1% as well. So the market is not doing great. Yes, there are still concerns about the inflation, about the interest rates, about the global economy, so on and so forth. But you want to take it with a grain of salt because the small cap stocks are hurt, hurt the most and HCMC being an OTC traded stock we have seen that the volume is not doing great either the volume is 409 123 million 148 million but the crux of the matter is we are seeing between one and two the price point one and two one and two so if someone is able to manage to buy at one and sell it at two it's 2x return on their investment just within a day I was, uh, I tried, I was not successful at doing that, but let me know in the comment section below if you were able to get that 100% return within one day. Now, at the least, I wanted to ask you before I go ahead and share this information with you, we'll be talking a ton about what is SEC Form S1 mean that HCMC has filed. I'll walk you through what HCMC is trying to accomplish. And I have really information packed to video. So watch the full video, hit the like button. We need at the least 150 likes on this video so we can share this information with more and more people. The stock is not being covered at the moment because again, it's not a meme stock um, range at the moment and it is not covered by many YouTubers. So only a handful of people, including myself, one or two people on YouTube are covering that. So hit the like button so this video can reach to more and more people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because at this channel, I don't really post too many videos, but when I post, it's information packed. Healthier Choices Management Corp announces confidential submission of registration statement for spin-off of its natural food and grocery wellness businesses. Now, what, that, what does that mean? And we'll talk about their four-point plan that they, they came up with in August 2022. So that was Q3 2022. We passed by Q4 and we are already in Q1 of 2023. I'm eagerly looking for their financial numbers as well. They announced that the confidential submission of a Form S1 draft registration, um, a spin-off off of its natural fruit grocery and uh, wellness operations to a wholly owned subsidiary, Healthier Choices, uh, Wellness, Corp at CWC by the way of dividend to HCMC shareholders. So if you own HCMC stockholder, you can expect the dividend of this new company or new co that we have been talking about called HCWC. Now, many of you may not even know what the form S1 means. So let me walk you through real quick. Based on 
what we see on Investopedia. What is S1 form, how to file it, and how to amend it. You don't really need to know how to file it or amend it, but you really want to know what this form means. SEC form S1 is initial registration for a new securities required by the SEC, the public companies that are based in US in any security that meets the criteria to have an S1 filing before the share can be listed on a national stock exchange. So HCWC, so in this our example or in this our use case, Healthier Choices Wellness Corp, HCWC. And I assume that that will be the stock ticker symbol when they will be listed on a national stock market. So let's take a look at the key takeaways. SEC Form S1 is an SEC registration required by US companies that want to be listed on national stock exchange. It could be... Uh, and by SC, it could be NASDAQ, it could be Dow Jones. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted what happens. But we are looking very close on this new listing and or the spin-off that we have been eagerly looking for. And if uh, you are an HCMC shareholder, you can expect this new company stock in the form of dividend. If you accumulate a dividend more than $10, you can expect that you will be given this amount of stock based on the price point that HCMC comes up with. It is HCMC and their board of directors who are going to share this information in upcoming days. More than anything else, I'm really looking forward to also know that what HCMC is going to announce in terms of their financial earning. Going back to this S1 form, what it means, it is basically the registration rate statement for a company that is usually filed in connection with the initial public offering and or it is also called an IPO. So if you hear about IPO, you also want to know what is an S1 form. Any amendments or changes that have to be made by the business issued or SEC in the form of S-1 or S-1A. So S-1 or S-1A. The issuer is responsible for any material misrepresentation or omission. So it is uh, the liability is on the company, their CPAs, their financial, the CFO, and their lawyers to make sure that they share accurate and 100% uh, uh, legit um, the representation of the information that they want to share. Their CEO, Jeff Hallman, says, we are pleased to have this confidentially submitted draft registration statement for the spin-off, which we believe will unlock the unrealized value of what we are now calling HCWC. This HCWC, Wellness Corporation, right? So you already know, Healthier Choices Management Corporation, now Healthier Choices Wellness Corporation. And this filing is another milestone for HCMC in attempt to create the shareholder value. As previously disclosed, we intend to distribute 100% off this initially issued common stock in HCWC to our shareholders in form of the dividend subject to certain minimum criteria, I already talked about it was nine uh, ten dollars and i'll keep you posted if something changes there but do your own due diligence as well this video is only for the informational and educational purposes or or, 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 the, or the enjoyment purposes and this is not a financial advisor nor nor i'm a financial advisor i do not really have any certifications so you do your own due diligence i am doing a ton of research and i like to share this information back with you also their ceo jeff holman said that separating these natural food and wellness assets in the form of brick and mortar store, stores and wellness centers as well as our online entity the vitamin store Com will create the immediate value for their shareholders. They also concluded the company is extremely pleased to be continuing to execute in our four-point plan that we released in August 2022. The spin-off is intended to be structured as a tax-free. Remember this, tax-free prorata distribution to all HCMC shareholders as of a record date to be determined. So what that means is on that particular record date, you need to hold the HCMC stocks in order to get this distribution in form of dividend for this particular HCWC stock. And once it is determined, the board of directors of HCMC, upon the consumption of the spin-off, um, um, if completed, the HCMC shareholders, as of the record date, for the separation will receive all of the initially issued shares of common stock of HCWC. 
HCW says intend to apply in NYSE American Stock Exchange. So we talked about whether it will be NASDAQ, whether it will be NYSE. Now you should know that this is NYSE. Hit the like button if you really like this NYSE listing that HCMC is planning for. And they will be called HCWC by the way. Now, no record date for the potential spin-off has been established as of now, as of the date of the press release and the completion of the potential spin-off remains subject to various conditions. Now, the spin-off is expected to be the first half of 2023. So we are in the second month of 2023. We have still four months. So I expect within the next couple of months, we'll know as to when the company is dis establishing this particular record date, which means when they'll consider who to give out this dividend in terms of of this uh, new company shares, so on and so forth. This press release does not really constitute an offer or sell of the solicitation of any offer to buy any securities or shall not constitute it as an offer, solicitation or the sell of any security of any state of jurisdiction, uh, which such offer, solicitation or sell would be unlawful prior to the consumption of the spin-off transactions. Now, you already know particularly about HCMC. If you want to really find out this information, uh, you can find out on the press release in if you click on its cmc other choices uh, management's website click on the news and you should be able to find all this information now they also announced some decision on ipr and departments review so on and so forth but most importantly i want to talk about the four point plan that jeff holman their ceo just touched upon so they're executing on subsidiary spin-off this is number two you already know that they already talked about buyback of common stock and they already have the grant from their board of directors, their shareholders, and they're already um, all set. So we don't know as to when the company will buy that stock at what price, so on and so forth, because company will do that decision in their best interest with the VWAP price. They also want to consider what is the best timing because the buyback, the goal is to make sure that the company helps the company itself and their shareholders. But the subsidiary spin-off particularly, I really want to really walk you through once again so you want to understand what it means. Now, in terms of the buyback, there was some misconception in my previous videos. People asked me questions as well, but the buyback is not 5 million shares. It's about 5 million worth dollar value uh, so you multiply that by the number of shares as many as HCMC can buy so take it with grain of salt once again they're not going to buy at the same time they may do in different smaller chunks in different times uh, and whatever they think is the best for the company best for the shareholders and best for the overall uh, strategy of HCMC now, again, remember that the company has a ton of money, so they can do it at any time. And I'll take you uh, take you through that as well. So if you want to really know what uh, how much company has in terms of the money on the balance sheet, I like the balance sheet, by the way, right now that you see the company has $30 million cash and cash equivalent as of September 30th, 2022. So end of Q3, 2022 company had more than $30 million. And they're talking about buyback of only $5 million. So once again, their current asset at the time, Q3, end of Q3, 4 million, give or take, over 4 million, and 30 million plus is what their cash and cash equivalent puts the company at $34.1 million of un audited total current asset at the end of Q3. So the company, I like to see this kind of balance sheet for the companies. The company has around 67 million or maybe 70 million, give or take, uh, on their um, total total market cap and the company has almost 50% of that in cash and cash equivalent which is once again a pretty good balance sheet in my personal opinion now you do your own due diligence but let's go back to what the company is by the way you also want to note that and I'm excited to learn about what the company did in Q4 in terms of the sales because in Q3 they did 5.8 million dollars which was 77% growth year over year and their gross margin was also close to 2 million 1.9 million for the quarter 36% year year growth as well which is which is really really good and if they continue the momentum in q4 followed by this year in 2023 that is going to be amazing so 
again, there are brighter days coming for HCMC. Now, going back to the spin-off will result in new public company that we already know now. That will be listed at NYSC. That's number one. The company will be called Healthier Choices Wellness Corporation, HCWC. And they will be forming with the intention of listing on NYSC in the fourth quarter of 2022. It, by the way, did not happen. So this will happen in first half of 2023, based on what we see in terms of the press release. This will receive its CMC's entities owning its CMC retail stores, namely ADA Market, Natural Market, Paradise Health and Nutrition, Mother Earth's uh, uh, Storehouse. The company has uh, expanded that footprint in New Jersey and some of the upstate New York area, Healthier Choices Wellness Centers that they did that licensing deal as well as any online entity that we already know the vitamin store.com as well new company will continue the path of growth in health vertical making sure that people have a notch up in terms of their um, choices in their life healthier choices wellness um, so the choices and wellness started by hcmc and explored the other growth opportunities and comfort with hcmc's lifestyle mission now, this new company will also receive to be determined on HCMC's reverse reserve capital and will return the entire patent suite and all rights of the patent infringement within HCMC against the Philip Morris, which is, uh, again, we already know that it doesn't really worth anything at this point, which is currently awaiting for the decision for appeal at the time of this article. But the appeal has been done. We didn't really get anything out of it. As well as the Q-Cup brand, HCMC will continue to develop the patent suite, R&D, as well as continuing to pet the path of enforcing patent rights against the infringers as well i hope you like this information if you did so i wanted to share this two couple of things in this particular video very juicy very interesting very shareholder friendly um next couple of uh, months that we'll be hearing these initiatives the plan includes the four point plan by the way includes buyback we already talked about subsidiary we already talked about stock dividend which will be um, already tied up with this new company um launch or new company listing on nysc and they already have raised capital through some of the institutional investors that i talked in my previous video if you like this video hit the like subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching